Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your love and general reading for the week of April 15th through the 22nd. Uh, see what messages may apply for you. Just remember they're general messages, so they may or may not resonate. Um, all right, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And Virgo, let's get into your reading here. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. So we have a couple of cards. We have the High Priestess, the Five of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Wands. So, hmm. So I feel like somebody is really, it feels like heartbroken. Um, there's a King of Wands here, so male or female energy. This isn't you. Um, I feel like there's a person here who's feeling heartbroken but they're keeping it within. There's regret, sadness about some kind of breakup or if there was a third party interference, um, maybe a divorce or a loss. There's possibly depression or sadness, but with the high priestess, somebody's not showing this energy, okay? Um, how somebody is feeling, usually the king of wands is somebody who is pretty bold, charming, courageous, but there's an internal grief that's happening here. Now it could be you, Virgo, but I feel like this is the overall message here for this reading. There's a sense of loss and grief, but it's a secret. Somebody's not revealing how their hurt feelings or what's going on with them inside, okay? Gosh, cards are just flipping out. What is going on? I haven't even started the reading. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this is because whoever this other person is gets a sense that you are um, getting love elsewhere or you are interested or you are seeking um, a committed loving relationship or accepting maybe a proposal or an offer of love. There's a sense of regret here, okay? Definitely. So we have Aries energy. Leo, Sagittarius, um, there could be Pisces involved, but I feel like um, somebody feels like they lost you, but yet they're not, it feels like they're not revealing, they're not revealing it. They're not revealing it. They're, they're not connecting. It's like sadness and silence is what I feel like is happening here. Okay. Um, rather than expressing their grief or their loss, or their feeling of, you know, worry or um, feeling unloved or, you know, whatever's going on or feeling abandoned. They're keeping it to themselves in this time period. All right. So, Spirit, we're going to do a Celtic cross. Let's take a look because they're, they're giving me this overall energy that you have new love coming in during this uh, spring break or this time period from April 15th to the 22nd. Um, you could be getting an offer, a romantic proposal of some sort from um, someone who's truly interested, very attracted to you. Uh, it, like I said, it could be a fire sign, uh, specifically Aries coming up, okay? Or someone who sits in a position, a very alpha energy, okay? Persistent, knows what they want, is, you know, going after what they want. They, they, they're very clear, Okay, let's take a look. Celtic Cross energies. Let's see what the messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay, past energy. Show me the past past energy for Virgo. Although, let's see what happened in the past. What's going on here? Okay, so cheating, lying, maybe some manipulation. Someone was not being honest. Somebody got caught uh, doing something. Um, betrayal. Somebody ran away from a connection in the past. Okay. Sorry if you can't see this. I'll try to get these cards in so you can see. What is the current energy here for Virgo? What is the current energy for this time period? April 15th through April 22nd. Okay. Look. New beginnings. Ace of Wands. Passion. Um, focused creativity. Going after what you want. Um, I feel like things are going to start. There's growth. There's a potential for new growth here in your life, okay? So it's definitely a new beginning happening. And I was picking that up, like I said, in the beginning here of the reading. 
Let me see. The challenge. What is the obstacle for Virgo? Healing, of course. Aquarian energy. The star. It's difficult. You're doing it, though. You're healing. You're moving forward. Um, I feel like the obstacle here is just a renewal of hope. I feel like you, you see that there's potential for you to have something healthy with someone in the future or going forward in your life. But I feel like <clears throat> it's a challenge for you. It is in some ways. You might still be going through the healing process and you're just getting started. Um, but getting that hope back again and believing in miracles, having faith <laughs> is, is a little difficult, but I feel like it's not, it's not an obstacle that can't be overcome. I feel like you're on your way to it. It's definitely also a benefit for you to be focusing more on having your faith, getting your faith back, and just saying to yourself, you know, what happened in the past is in the past. I'm letting it go. Um, it's what it is, what it is. It's done and it's over with. Let me get started on my life going forward. You know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Um, there's plenty of opportunities that will come to me. I'm having faith. I know that things are going to work out. Okay. So, what is driving you? Okay, you've got the two of pentacles being balanced. You're really getting yourself, uh, I see good, a good t disposition. I see you being more tempered. I see you taking your time and weighing things out. I don't see you reactive. I don't see you jumping into anything, probably because you're still in a, he uh, um, a healing position from something that happened in the past here. But I also feel like you're ready to start over. You're you have an urge i feel like you have an urge for partnership and for love um and i feel like the healing process is going to coincide with that with that two of pentacles what's really driving you here is you know what do i want what do i want what are my options which path do i want to take it's making a decision now what's crowning down upon you virgo okay wow you've got the world so new chapter you're being Virgo, I feel like like crowning down through the crown chakra, your thoughts, like, I just want to start over. I want to have a new beginning. I'm, like, there's blank pages of this book, and I want to start writing in them and creating my destiny. So I feel like you're in a really good place, or at least you're getting there. You, you have a good mindset here, Virgo, and that's probably why you've got new love coming into your life. Um, you know, I, I don't I, th I feel like whoever your connection was with that past person, they're going through their own grief process. And I, I feel like that person from the past is keeping that to themselves with the high priestess because there's an energy here of like um, learning to trust themselves. They're trying to gain clarity at that, uh, you know, from some relationship or something that occurred between you and another person in the past but that is their journey so i feel like for you your mindset is this world card here um starting over you know um not stuck in the past uh lessons being finished okay um moving forward in your life so a lot of good energy for you i feel like um some type of lesson has been learned or some goal your mindset is also to complete goals or things that you're starting presently at this time okay um i feel like you are moving on i really do so did i say there was aquarius energy here as well all right let's see what the near future is bringing the near okay so you have six of pentacles so there's a lot of generosity and hospitality being given and received here. So I feel like sometime around April 19th, there's going to be maybe some money being received or some financial help for someone here. Um, some type of generous offer you you will be receiving around the 19th uh, or the sometime between the 17th through the 19th is what they're saying okay um giving back energy spending time it's more like um 
I want to say maybe some charity. Maybe you're going to be contributing to some type of charity situation or funding or receiving help from someone. Hmm. It's pentacle energy. And with the six, this is getting some appreciation, I feel like, or giving, getting or giving. Let me get a clarifying card to see what else this could mean here. Okay. Oh. Hmm. A loan for a car, perhaps, or some money for a new vehicle. <laughs> like I said, it's general in love. So I feel like you're you're starting. It could be um, you're taking a trip, paying for tickets, maybe uh, for children, or taking some kind of a trip. It, it there's definitely an energy of traveling, um, the week of the seventeenth towards the twentieth. The week of the 17th through the 23rd, there's some travel happening here, okay? Or um, it's either traveling to a place or from a place, okay? Cancer energy there. Now, let me see. I'm not sure. Actually, I just want to know what exactly. Why is this showing up here in this love reading? What does this have to do with, with Virgo's love situation here? What is the travel about? Hmm, the moon. Hmm, okay, there's an unknown, unexpected visitor that week, or some communication, or some news about an unknown, unexpected visitor, is what they're saying. Um, there's definitely going to be there's some communication. You may get invited to travel somewhere and it just kind of, it comes in quick, but it comes in out of the blue. Um, and it might even be anonymous. Hmm. Like a ticket or money of some sort to go somewhere comes in like as a surprise. I feel like I'm giving it away. Um, hmm. This is kind of, yes, this is like um, with the moon, it's, it's a voluntary change. So this is something that I feel like someone is volunteering. They're doing this without asking to either pay to travel. There's news coming. It's very positive energy. Okay. So it's something to do with a trip. But with the eight of wands, that's Cupid's arrows, as we usually say here. So this is a very passionate uh information coming in um, also picking up Piscean energy again we also have Leo and Taurus and Scorpio so let me see what's going on what is your advice here Virgo you're getting some type of surprise news coming in that's going to make some changes in your plans and that might be once you get that, have you weighing something out here, right? We have two travel, actually we have three travel cards here. So this is something about movement. It could be travel in the actual literal sense, or it could just be like um, things are changing. The scenery, the atmosphere, the environment. All right, what is Virgo's advice? Okay, you got the Empress, wow, hmm. So as an energy, this feels like um, this could this reading could have something to do with with um, uh, pregnancy or wanting to have children or a child, um, and that might be only for a small percentage of you. Um, as an energy, this could also have something to do with um, creating or creation. You are sitting in the position of your advice. This is. Um, I feel like they're saying unconditional love to yourself or taking care of yourself and seeing yourself in that empress energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Someone who is abundant and very attractive and nurturing. Um, if you're a parent, someone who's a good parent, who's taking care of things, 
also recognizing who you are. I feel like if you're wearing that crown, make sure it's polished and your jewels are glistening. Your advice is to, it feels like pay attention to honor yourself, self-respect, pay attention to who you are, okay? Um, have confidence. The Empress is, is quite confident, but she's not arrogant, but she's confident and she has her faith. She has all the um, attributes of someone who is very emotionally secure and strong. Let me see what else. Also, there is a message here. Um, your advice is if you are in contact with your mother, whether that's in good terms or whether she is clearly still um, in your life, to try to spend some time with her during that week, during this time period. Let me see what else they have to say. Hmm. Again with this travel. Okay. There's something here about facing your fears. You need, uh, there, your advice is to face your fears, overcome yourself. Okay. Um, and you know, we're always our biggest obstacle, aren't we? It's not always things in the world. It's generally us. You know, it's, it's generally ourselves who put the obstacles in the way um, for why we can't do things. And if we're able to smash our negative thinking or our thoughts about ourselves, then we are able to overcome ourselves and be successful. Um, so there's an element there in terms of your advice and what you need to do for yourself is to be fearless with whatever it is that you're undertaking during this week, okay? And also, um, they're saying spend some time with your mom <laughs> or your father, you know. Uh, spend some time with a parent is what I want to say. Um, if you're able to um, overcome whatever obstacles there are with a parent or um, a spouse or a partner, okay, um, during this time period. I don't know why this is maybe because it's a holiday there's something here that's very important for healing some relationships um, okay let me see all right let's see what's external to you okay there's definitely an energy for some there's could be like a parent's coming to visit or you're going to visit a parent during this holiday season maybe like there's some relocation or moving happening or some travel as well let's see what's external to you okay hmm five of wands wow page of swords there's definitely some conflict okay um what's external to you and i feel like that's why this is a difficult time for you virgo because i feel like you're being asked to get yourself in a healing, peaceful, faithful state. Um, for some reason this week, seems like everybody around you is going to be uh, just drumming up some drama perhaps, um, or there could be like a child that could be giving you, or a teenager, or someone that could be giving you a, um, a hard time, most specifically. Uh, there's definitely going to be some obstacles and challenges, maybe some sibling rival rivalry or some family rivalry at this time. And so I feel like this is more for you to be aware. And I feel like <laughs> that's why these cards are here for you to try to overcome, uh, be fearless, know who you are. Don't let anybody, you know, dim your light, um, whoever that is, whatever the challenges are that are coming up here during this week um hmm okay you know this is to be a love reading but it feels mostly like this is going to be well it, it does feel a little bit of both because i do feel like i do feel like there is going to be somebody new and significant is going to be showing up during this time period it could be for some of you, um, I did have the emperor. So for some of you, this could have something to do with parents and the holidays. 
okay? And for others, in, in a romantic sense, I feel like there is going to be somebody showing up um, who you, you might meet, okay? That is making a, a romantic love proposal towards you. Let me see. Um, show me a little bit more. Why is the Five of Wands and the Page? What is this conflict about? What is going on here? Spying or something like that. Okay. The Wheel of the Year. Oh, I was, okay. There's something to do here. There might be some, hmm. I feel like conflict over money or some financial changes that are needing to be made or that are going to be made during this week. I feel like this, this reading is taking uh, on a lot of different personas here. There's a lot of different energy happening here. So let me just take a look and see what the hopes and fears are here for you, Virgo. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. So you have two aces. Um, so you're definitely hoping for um, some kind of new opportunity to happen in your life here. Okay. <laughs> You've got the lover, so I really do feel like you are looking for love or you're just being, you're, you're hoping for an opportunity with the lovers. Gemini energy here. Um, to have a, a very deep loving partnership with someone. This, this feels more like a, a mindset for you as well. You know, you're, you're definitely with the world. Your mindset is just, you're moving forward. I feel like you're, you're done with the past. Let me see what's the world like you're not holding on i'm not picking up holding on to past energy show me a, give me a clarifying card of this world there's something to do okay yeah yeah look you've got the four of cups to clarify the world so you're really in a position of being indifferent um you're ready for new surprises in life okay that's your mindset here i don't feel like you're accepting any love offers you want past love offers let's see what this outcome is here you're ready for a new love i do feel like you're having some there's some type of conflict or challenge happening external to you it doesn't feel like one specific person like i said it, it could be family or friends it's just people in your environment all right outcome Wow, you've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups, two card cards. What can you tell us about them? Okay, hmm, Five of Pentacles, ousted energy, Knight of Pentacles, taking too long, King of Cups, okay. Deep emotions and victory with the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands, or Queen of Swords, all right, hmm. There's a lot of energy playing out here. We've got two couples showing up here. Um, we have two people who are very um, truthful, very honest. And one who, and two people who are, it's interesting. This is you and another person. Okay, they're just telling me um, in different energies. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So you and your person take on, have taken on th this. I don't know if this is somebody you're currently connecting with or somebody new, but there's an energy of taking turns here. Sometimes it's a very emotional connection and other times it's a very logical, cerebral connection. You know, there's deep, deep emotions and deep feelings, but then the way that you guys communicate or will communicate with each other um, I feel there's a lot of success in um, you and another person, and this could be somebody that you're meeting or that's coming towards you. Um, could it be your past person? We can ask if that's something that you are focusing on to have reconciliation. I don't really feel like that's the case, but I feel like when you and whoever this person are uh, communicate, um, if there's an energy of... Um, a feeling of mismatch at times. I feel like you recover that very quickly and work things out there. I see a lot of success in a future relationship. Let me see. Is this a past connection? What is this? Okay. 
Seven of Wands. No, this is a new, this is a new connection. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I was getting the sense that you were just completely finished with the past. I said that in the beginning. Um, there's a lot of, there's challenges you're facing in the week coming up, okay? But I feel like I need to tell you, Virgo, that the challenges um, with the Five of Wands are kind of petty. Um, they're not really like big, massive con. Yeah, we've got fire breathing dragons here fighting, but it's fantasy. It's not, it's kind of petty. Maybe just some, I don't know, sitting around the table, talking to family members or connecting with some people. And there's maybe there's political um, debating or stuff like that going on. But I don't feel like it's, it's, nobody's getting hurt here with, with the five of wands. Okay. There's no verbal abuse happening here. Um, this could even be, um, and they just told me, um, th there might be like some kind of, uh, okay, um, athletic games that get played that week. I don't know what kind, maybe people are going out and playing football and soccer or baseball or some kind of sport or doing something, which would be really fun, but challenging, you know, it's, um, five of Wands is, it, it can be about games, so it's not necessarily, um, fighting. Um, it's, it's, it's sport. It's something for sport, you know, like we're, we're, we're in the ring and we're duking it out, but it, when the game is over, then we're congratulating and going and getting pizza and lemonade, you know, we're having a good time. Um, for some of you, there might be, um, an opportunity for some kind of athletic activity as well as I'm just picking up. It's interesting. Let's, so I feel like that was very general. Like I said, um, we're going to get into now I'm going to do like love. And I, I hope that I qualified when I started the reading that it was going to be, um, general and love, but if not, that's fine. Cause you're going to hang around and listen to the love reading, right? Um, let me get a different deck. I want to see what the love energy is playing out here for you okay there was a little bit of love in that general reading but let's see what is Virgo's love messages going on here what does Virgo need to know in regards to love for the week of April 15th through the 22nd love 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 hope everybody's doing well love 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 don't forget underneath the video, if you have, and please do hit like, share, and subscribe, by the way, if you have any interest in purchasing any of my tarot decks or the dice that I have there, it's all listed below. Just click on that link and that will take you directly to Amazon to purchase your, your decks or if you want to give them as gifts to anyone, please do. Okay, let's check it out here. Okay, so six of wands. Okay, three of pentacles. Oh, okay. So we saw the lovers in the last reading, what you were hoping for, both the three of pentacles and the lovers is marriage. So I feel like there's success here in a deep partnership and love. Two people coming together, working together, meeting, connecting, building, creating building something together much much success okay could be gemini you could be connecting with or any air sign because we did have the king and the queen of swords so aquarius also libra let me take a look here okay so wow assertiveness somebody really knows what they want i think i said that before in the very beginning okay i feel like works we're we're, we're compounding on the beginning of the reading here i feel like there's somebody here that's really going after what they want as far as marriage commitment building something working on something let me see oh okay hmm <laughs> virgo you're kind of like you know what you got to come after me you got to prove it you got to be assertive virgo's not chasing anyone virgo's like if you, I feel like your energy is kind of like with everyone or anyone in particular. If, if you make the plans, I'll show up, but I am not making the plans. If you come after, you come up with the ideas, you want to, 
you know, uh, Virgo, I don't know why you're like that. What What's going on with your energy? Maybe because in the past you had some betrayal or dishonesty or hurt. I feel like now you're kind of like, you're just, you're, you're a bit more passive, but you're just kind of, I don't know, are you testing? Are you just in this position now where, you know, bloody stumps here, you know, if you want to have something with me, you're going to have to like... <laughs> make the plans and, and move forward. I'm definitely feeling like there's going to be an opportunity. You're going to get invited to travel with someone to go somewhere. Um, or you, or you will invite someone to come to where you are. So is it possible? It could be a long distance connection. Yes. Because of the Knight of swords, that can be a card of travel. Um, let me see what else is going on here. Okay. So, Queen of Cups, the Hermit. Okay, Virgo, you're definitely withholding your deepest emotions at this time. You're not revealing much in the way of, like, your deepest feelings at all, okay? I feel like you're just holding back. Hmm. Interesting. Got death card here. Okay, so Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Virgo twice, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, you're not, see, you're not revealing your heartbreak either. What is going on here? Um, Virgo, um, when I was doing the beginning of your reading, um, we saw somebody that was withholding their emotions, holding back their heartbreak and um, very um, lost and regretful or remorseful about maybe a third party or cheating or some type of an argument or something along those lines that may have happened. Um, now, like I said, is that your energy? Could that be your energy? It, it could be. Um, but it could also, I didn't feel initially that that was you. I kind of felt like that might have been somebody else. But it looks like, it looks like two people are withholding their deepest, their heartbreak. They're, there's no communication. They're just waiting for that energy to dissipate. Waiting. And I feel like they're, your head says there's, un, uh, there's the business is finished. But your heart hasn't caught up to that yet. And I feel like there's another person from your past who's feeling that same way. Okay. There hasn't been communication to have final closure or to just say, okay, yeah, have mutual parting of ways. I feel like that might be why there was a difficulty in you getting, uh, it's a challenge for your healing. Okay. Because you have to give yourself closure and um that's really you have to plant new seeds of closure in order to have growth that that's what i feel like the energy is playing out here for you okay you are, you're having to be the one to do it but we've got you know but you're you're like ready to get into another relationship and start over but you're not pursuing anything with anybody okay 